And we're back again with another add-on, ladies, gentlemen, and otherwise. Zig Shadow here, and we're going straight to base assault by Shala, as the picture would say. Yeah, this should be quite an interesting journey, because this time I've got a second executable that uh, I got from Jakob a while back. Apparently, there was just a small minor change necessary to make the scopes work, so yeah, I, I know I say a few days ago that I was gonna have regular bolt action rifles and whatnot, but you know, I, I, I can't resist. The scopes is just too useful. Not having scopes in the in mousetrap was just awful, so I guess you can say that that run was me using regular bolt action rifles. But anyways, yeah, base assault. Germany, yeah, okay. We're back to fighting the Nazis. Very good, very good. June the 1st, 1943, 09.52 hours. Bomber Command has asked us for a small favor. They've been trying to bomb a construction yard, which has currently stepped up production on materials used for the Blitz. But they're having trouble, and that's where we come in. About five miles from the base, our spies say, there is a small airfield consisting of only six planes, and flak, and cannon defenses, which won't let our bombers close. But we plan to change that. Moment of truth, Jakub. Oh my goodness, it is working. Scopes are once again working. Thank you very much. You have no idea. Okay. I completely forgot which one, which one of you actually shoots better with a rifle, but... No tactical map. <sighs> Typical. Absolutely typical? What is that? Maybe we shouldn't wander off the road, but... Well, I'm not seeing any minefield signs, so... Hmm... Okay, well, this is a bit interesting because, well... Oh, it's... Yeah, yeah, we're back to this again with the fog and stuff. What's my objectives? Six planes. It's a good thing I got two bombs for everyone, eh? I wasn't... Sh I'm just carrying the usual regular lo loadout, you know? SMGs, something automatic, snipers, grenades, explosives, a knife just in case there's any emergencies. I don't think I've ever actually needed a knife. Well, I guess... Grease. I did have to use the knife once all the way back in Greece aeons ago for the partisans, but you know. Alright, so. One second. I need to get my bearings for us. A lot of things have transpired within the last few minutes. And, well, I need to get my bearings first. There's no tactical map, so I'll have to absolutely get a good eye on everything around me. I don't recognize this map. I think it might be a reuse campaign again, but. That crash plane over there. Hmm. Why is there a crash plane in this airfield? Right, so, first things first. I'm not quite sure whether I should go straight through the road or attempt to circle around that open field. The open field seems a bit more safer, but at the same time, I could be shot at from all sorts of other directions. Now, I'm currently assuming that there's invisible walls here. Yeah, okay, invisible walls, figure as much. Typical. Absolutely typical. So, we're not going that way. I was really hoping I could, you know, just edge in from the canyon sides right there. You see? Yeah, that way I won't have to pay attention to my right side. Because it's, you know, all covered up by the map edges, but alas. I'm also not sure if there's going to be any snipers around here. Enemy snipers. So maybe going through the road might be a bad idea after all. Okay. Let's go through the open field. I'm not quite sure what we'll find here, but... Should be quite interesting now. Oh, hey, hang on. I see something there. Ah, uh, Scope, you have no idea. I miss you so much. I see a silhouette there. Robin, gonna need you, buddy. Mr. Hood, your services are once again required. You too, pay attention to the road in case anyone decided to show up and cause havoc. Pay attention to... you watch this side, you watch that side. Mad, 
Um, no, no, just watch that side. Use the SDG. Okay. Hood, our first kill of the day. And once again, fortune is on our side for this first kill. Excuse me? Okay, now I got, got, got him. Oh, you have no idea how much I miss the scope. Gosh, look at this. I can... I can see! I can see! <laughs> oh, man. After... You... You really start appreciating things when you... Lose them, and... Not having... Not having a sniper and mousetrap was just... Awful. Immensely awful. Now, are, are there going to be enemies that are going to, you know, march over here and attempt to sandblast us? Uh, I'm still not sure about the plane. Why is there a crash plane all the way out here? It's a point of interest. Uh, I'm curious what... Curious to see what's there, but... Put on a little bit. I just need to see this. I think there's another guy there. Oh, I think he crouched right before the shot connects. Scoundrel. He's gonna catch me off guard if I don't wait for him. He's back up. Okay, is he back up again? I'm hoping there's no civilians here, because if I accidentally shot one and the mission fails, it's gonna be rather embarrassing. This is, after all, an airfield. Like, you'd think there would be, you know... Hang on. What's that? No, 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 what's that? What was that? Aha! Wait. Come on. Oh, come on. Not this. Not like this. Prone. To the side. Move. He's moving. Yeah, got him. There are patrols on the sides here. Yeah, I figure as much. I have to really pay attention. It's once again, once again we enter the game of trying to spot people through the fog before they spot us first. Right now I'm hoping that everyone will move around so they'll be easy to see, but you never know. Anything else that I can spot there? I'm not sure. Okay. We're just gonna prone really close by, alright? Have someone crouching in case... Quick firing is needed. I've learned my lesson from Mousetrap. I am not having people just prone trying to approach a high platform. So far so good from this side. No enemy contacts can be seen. Nothing to report, Fairbarn. Anything behind the tree? See if you can spot maybe a foot or two walking around, moving by themselves without a torso above. Maybe we'll try to close in from this side as well. Get that draw distance closing in. Uh, makes me kind of wonder if there is such a thing as a draw distance patch for hidden dangers. That will probably either that would probably break the game so hard, because the AI does need to have some distance to spot the player, and, well, if I spot them first, all the way out here, I could just clear maps with no problem, eh? On the other hand, if the enemy AI is rebalanced to match the draw distance, I'd probably start getting shot at from unseen distances, which would upset me in return, so, you know... Be grateful with what you have. Right. Nothing. Pay attention. Nothing. Okay, Robin, close in. Close in. Whoa. The ah, hard drive's acting again. Alright, that's fine. Right behind him. Check that side. Oh, hang on. Oh, I see you. There's three guys. There's three guys over there. Oh no, 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 reload the gun. Oh, I just had to pick the worst sniper rifle for this trip, man. Eh? Well, it's actually a really good sniper rifle. It's, it just has a really low magazine capacity. There he is. Got him. Okay, what else? 
what else? I saw three earlier, and then two, and then three again. So, people must be patrolling around the base itself like crazy. Maybe I do need to wait for a second or two. Well, there's a bit of an bit of a thing on the side there. I'm not sure. Uh, really exciting, isn't it? <laughs> Just me <laughs> watching a fence. Uh, still, though, I don't want to actually get too close to the plane just yet. The problem with hidden dangers, as you understand from Mousetrap, is that enemies can see through foliage. And, well, under there's a base right behind all those trees. I, I would like to clear any possible contacts I, as much as I could before I do try to check out the plane. That side, too. Maybe I should have them. Um, Pilot pulls in from this side, maybe? Not seeing anything yet. What about you, Verban? Close in from the other side as well. Maybe you can get a kill, of, kill or two. Hmm, still nothing. Alright. Bit by bit, we'll do this by the book. Hang on, I think I see something there. Oh, we're just gonna do the classic fog shotting. Uh, who doesn't like fog shotting? I love it so much. I'm just hoping that no one else tries to fog shot me. <laughs> yeah. Nothing there. Right, mad cousin. Check in on that side. They're not gonna put minefields in the middle of an airfield, right? That seem that would be like that'd be a really silly move. Really silly move. Absolutely too silly. You'll forgive me if I'm being a bit paranoid here. It's just look at the amount of guys I shot just in the first minutes alone, just because they're walking right next to the fence. If those are just the guys that are patrolling near the fence. What happens when I finally get inside the base? I'll pr probably... <coughs> I'll probably have to start clearing them out. Oh, hey! I I'm seeing more enemies. Left side. There. Got one. Another one. Oh, no, you don't. Come on. And that's another batch out. The question is, are the... Are they... Are are they infinitely responding, or are they just that numerous? Maybe it's actually a really big base, and the patrols are um, a bit circular. What weapons are they carrying? STGs. Yeah. Good thing I'm good thing I'm carrying STGs on my own, eh? No, I'm not carrying the stun anymore. Not for now. And then next add-on, I'll probably start running the PPSH again, or maybe the no, no. I don't. See, one of the reasons why I have restored loaded is because to have more variety when starting a, a mission. Sure, it's interesting to to have you know historical accuracy and all that, but I mean, the stand in Hidden Dangers is a Mark V. I don't think historical accuracy is this game's strongest point. So, you know, it's, it, I think it's a good idea if we can play around a little bit the weapon arrangement. Just, you know, so, so long as nobody's carrying laser rifles. <laughs> uh, right. Close in a bit further. We're getting closer to the base now. Shella, I sincerely hope you didn't put any mines here. And if you do, please put some signs. Really appreciate it, but if I can see where I'm getting sh blown up from, of course, considering the plane crashing here, the dev will probably want me to investigate what's in here. Okay, I need to, need to be closer a bit. Back to the SDG. 
nothing so far. No more patrols. No more patrols. Hang on, what's that? Oh, come on, draw distance. Give me a break here. Watch it. Take a look at that side. I can see the crash plane much more clearly now. Uh, the airfield could be guarded by AA guns, which would explain why the plane fell here, though. At the same time, I'm not sure if it's... Why would they shoot down? Well, I guess... Mm. Are they carrying snipers as well? Look at that. I think that's a ri Yeah, that's a rifle with a scope on it. They're using snipers as well. I'm basically just using... Hello there! Got you! Another one to add to the pile. Big on. Right. Nothing. Nothing. Close in. Check that side. I know I'm moving really slow here, but as I said before in Mousetrap, I would prefer to finish a mission without dying for once. Oh no, you don't. Think I got him? Maybe. You might have just been crouching down. Matt, you have be you have worse shot. Maybe you can get a good aim at him without the bullet warping teleporting your rounds. Assuming he'll get back up. What is he doing? Nothing? Okay. Careful. Uh, this is the most. Hang on. It would really help if I could have a tactical map here to coordinate, but. I'm just gonna have to wing it. I'm not sure if there's any enemies there. Right now, I'm currently really grateful for the fact that um, enemy seems to have just ever so slightly less vision than me. Meaning that... Um... Ooh, that was a bold move. Very bold and very foolish. Okay. So I should be able to get a closer look at that thing. Would have probably been getting shot at myself. Yeah, okay, I see one. Mad, would you would you have the honors? Okay, one guy down. Oh, I see another guy there. I don't think he's dead yet. Hmm. Is that another guy? It is! It is another guy. Get down, you scoundrel. Get down and stay down. It's a bit hard to see here, but I'm doing okay. Could have been better, but could also be worse. It's times like these makes me wish I could get a super rifle. You know, like the one from, Re from Return to Castle Wolfenstein. It would have been really nice to spot enemies through... <sighs> right. <laughs> I was about to say, it would be nice if I could have cheat vision. <laughs> ah, but that wouldn't be fair. That wouldn't be fair at all. Okay, I wonder if I can, if I can get in through this side somewhere. Well, I guess the, the crash plane is supposed to be my side entrance there. I could also enter enter through the front door, but that will be a bit unwise. Okay, goes in further. Okay, take a good look here again. If there's anything that resembles sort of something like human silhouette. You drop it. You drop it with a 7.92 mouse around. Just making sure sometimes I need to prod movement. Right. Might be good for a slightly more boldier approach. Okay. 
this is the edge of the airfield. Maybe the base is that way. Still seeing nothing. Okay, Robin, you uh, get a bit closer. Yeah. From the left side. Wait a minute, what is that? Just my imagination. Uh, okay. Well, since everyone's going through the lab, I think we should join them as well. Pilot and Fairbarn. We'll be right over you guys. Just you sit there and wait. Alright, alright. Okay. Again, I, I will have two, two of them. Both of them walk at the same time, but... No tactical map. <clears throat> <sighs> Sometimes I just, I don't, I don't get add-on creators that don't have a tactical map. Sometimes it's done for a reason, I guess. The campaign does it as well, the regular campaign in Pinamunda. I didn't like it there either, so... It's like one of the most important things in order to navigate your troops. You know what? If you want to obscure the map, that's fine. Like, have a, I, I, I don't know if the tactical map is its own separate model or something. Maybe that's why it's so hard to make. It's not getting an active picture. Uh, no, sorry. It's not getting an active render of this map exactly, but you sort of can, and I think that's what people, I don't creators who have them do, but I'm, I'm not sure. But at the same time, yeah, I think it's possible maybe to have a tactical map that's just straight out a paper map where you can just set coordinates and you 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 can still try to you know coordinate your troops to move at the same time but without getting an easy look of the environment which you can use to your advantage sometimes you could have an enemy pointer there and you'd be, you'd be thinking i don't see enemies right there and they were just hidden behind some hidden behind some hills and when you try to approach it to the side maybe you try to figure out what's going on and boom you get shot to death just, just a thought. 